Hello everyone, this is Niall here, just checking in at the start of this episode to basically say that number one, this is a much shorter episode than usual, this is just the spooky stories, because our audio stopped recording shortly after uh, this segment was finished, so this is all we can release, and second of all, we do have to use the Zoom audio for this, so um, that might it might not up to be up to the normal quality, it might be a bit laggy and stuff like that, but we're, we've tried our best here. So regardless of the audio quality and stuff like that, I really hope you enjoyed this sort of mini episode, we had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you have a lot of fun listening to it, and we'll see you again for another episode soon. Recording. Niall. Idiot. For a couple of seconds there, I forgot our intro, and it's the simplest <laughs> thing ever. So I said, I said recording, and was like, oh shit, what happens now? Uh, <laughs> we just say our names. Yeah, it's not <laughs> particularly complicated. That's going to be great if we ever, like... Yeah, in, like, in years down the line, do like a live show on a stage in front of an audience? Because if people haven't seen the show before seeing it live, it'll just be us just saying walk on going, Niall, Gideon, Dylan. I reckon that's funny. I reckon that'd get a laugh. <laughs> I want to I wanna start working on stand-up over the next few years. Like, I've talked to you guys about that yeah. a little bit. I want to, like, start doing that. Like, when lockdown is over, I'm going to finish writing some stuff and then just play, like, local open mic stuff. Like, yeah. Fuck! I'll have to bleep that. But our local, our local football team, <laughs> our local team, our local football team has like a comedy night every month. Yeah, like yeah. I might see if I can do it and just, just stuff like that. I don't know. The listeners don't care about this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares about your dreams. Look, we've got a, we've got a. Wow, that was really mean. Yeah, that, that and was I don't think you should have said it. I think I, I want an <laughs> apology. I agree. No. I'm devastated, right? But um, this episode, <laughs> this episode has like a we're, we're changing it up a little bit just for changing the format. Yeah, it, it's only going to be for this episode. Also, sorry, there hasn't been any real episode in like the past week and a half or something. It's just been very busy recently. But um, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. what was I saying? Yeah, just for this episode, we're changing the format slightly. We're putting spooky stories at the start, and then we're doing our main topic after the spooky stories. So. Yeah, this is our segment, Spooky Stories, where we each, um, this time I set the spooky stories, I came up with them, and I found them. Oh, I'm so bad at explaining this segment. Basically, okay, right. so three, three stories, two of them found... are... found... Okay, you did. No. No. Three stories, <laughs> two of them are real, one of them <laughs> I made up this time, we take it in turns. I didn't need to include that, that just complicates it. But there's yeah, three yeah. stories, two are real, one is fake, that I've made up. Uh, we each have a story to read out, and then at the end, Gideon and Dylan both have to guess which two are the real two and which one is the fake one. I feel like that made sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good work, no, yeah. Like, yeah. This bit of hair is really annoying because it's making me look like I've just got a really long eyebrow all the way down there. That'll be a good one for the listeners. <laughs> Visual joke my, for the episode. My favourite podcast, joke, podcast joke is that'll be a good one for the listeners. Very original. Um, okay. I think I, I think we've both got eye side hair at the moment. Dylan's all right because she's got mm. long hair anyway. But yeah, yeah, I I was. It's great that cut out. Here before it was cool. That's really cool. I really like what you yeah, just said because so I can hear it. Jokes the listeners count. won't realize this because we're each recording our audio from our yeah, own computers. Got Dylan's normal audio. Yeah, but with like us, we can like every now and then we're just cutting out because our Wi-Fi is not great at the moment. But yeah. um. Right, spooky stories. Who wants to read first? Yeah, so every so often hear like little uh, bits of what Niall, people are saying. I think you should read first. All right, my story is quite a long one. It's called Resurrection Mary. For a number of years, motorists driving along the Arch Avenue in Chicago's south side have reported giving rise to a beautiful young hitchhiker, a blonde wearing a white gown that seems to date from the 1920s or 1930s. The drivers are said to be mostly single males, and the girl often jumps into their cars uninvited, saying that she needs a ride home. Home turns out to be the Resurrection Cemetery at 7200 South Archer Avenue, and when the car draws level with it, the hitchhiker gets out, sometimes opening the car door, sometimes passing right through it, walks up to the closed route iron gates and passes through them, disappearing into thin air once inside the cemetery. Resurrection Mary, as the spectre has been named, is said to be the ghost of a young Polish girl who was killed in an auto accident while being driven home from a dance at the O. Henry Ballroom, now named the Willowbrook Ballroom, on Archer Avenue in 1931, and buried in her party dress and dancing shoes in the Resurrection Cemetery. 
One night in December 1977, a motorist noticed a young woman dressed in white standing inside the cemetery gates. She was looking out, holding onto the iron bars of the gates. Thinking that the girl had been inadvertently locked inside the cemetery, the, mo the motorist called the police, but by the time the patrol car um, appeared, the girl had vanished. The officer beamed his searchlight into the cemetery, but saw nothing. He and the motorist did notice, though, that two of the iron bars in the gate were bent apart, and that at the point where they were bent were the marks, seemingly etched into the iron, of two small hands. Wow. That does a sound real. That was nice. That's a nice, a nice happy story. The girl just wants to go dancing. Mm. <laughs> but right. So cheerful way to start if, it. if you were, can I just point out, if you were <laughs> in a like in a car and a hitchhiker got on, asked for a ride home, and you go, "Oh, where do you live?" and she goes, "The local cemetery." Well, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're driving. And she's like, "Oh yeah, ne next left, next left." But to yeah. be fair, as soon as I pull up there, like. I guess you'd sort of know the area and you know you're going towards the cemetery. You'd be a bit like... Yeah. Well, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, e even if she wasn't a ghost, that'd still be pretty spooky. Go going to the cemetery every night in, like, a dancing gown. Yeah, that's very <laughs> weird, to be fair. That's a bit... Anyway, Gideon, do you want to read your story? Yes. I don't, don't like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the name of my story is... <clears throat> Nah, 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 don't kill me. Good name, good name. And Did is, you come up with that one? That, yes, I came up with the names. Um, and that is yeah. a Kanye oh, West reference. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, I mean, the West family. Yeah, that's literally the only that, connection to the title. The only connection to the title is the word West. Great. Okay. <sighs> the West family went out after church for an outing in the country. One that involved Marjorie, who was four, and her 11-year-old sister going to pick wild flowers. The sisters went to talk to their parents. Uh, no, sorry, the sister went to talk to their parents, and Marjorie disappeared from the middle of an open wild field. This might seem like a standard kidnapping story. Oh yeah, one of those. Apart from the fact that Marjorie's life might well have intersected with Georgia Tan, who ran the Tennessee Children's Home Society. She was praised for her ability to find homes for the children who needed them. However, it was discovered that Tan actually had ab oh God, Tan had actually abducted more than 1,200 children and then placed them with rich families in far-off states like California, often for a large fee. If Marjorie did somehow meet Tan or someone who worked with her, she could be alive today and unaware of her true identity. It's just... American Madeline McCann. My stories this week are real fucked. Like, yeah. This is but they've fun. also got like quite silly names. You two seem fun at parties. Yeah. Like that really like terrifying story about perhaps a girl getting up to, abducted was called Na 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 Don't Kill Me. <laughs> like, a Kanye West reference. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, what is your story? Right. I'm worried I'm going to cut out several points. I'll edit this bit. It's all right. It'll be fine for the listeners. So, Dylan, what's your story? It's called Mama Mia. <laughs> Try and guess what this one's about. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. I mean, I guess maybe something to okay, do with that. <laughs> maybe? Okay. In Just Italy, in night... Here we go again. T-58. <laughs> young chef named... I'm going to keep glitching. I actually want to... Ah. No, you're fine. You're fine. You you're fine. You're yeah. fine. Well, Just you have read. now. Read. No. Read. Read. Just read. Just read. Read. Okay. In Italy in 1958, a young chef named Benito Antonella opened up his restaurant to start the day. However, when he opened the doors, he was shocked to find everything from the restaurant had mysteriously disappeared. But this couldn't have been a robbery, as it was just tables that had gone. The walls, the lights, the wooden flooring, all gone entirely. Benito said it was like looking into a dark void. The police launched an investigation. This mysterious event is still unknown. That's kind of a dead story. Just all the stuff in his restaurant went missing. Yeah, but it was like the walls had gone. Yeah. Like, like, like he, he would have had Benito. different rooms, and now it's just like one massive thing. I mean, really, Benito, but I'm... Yeah, I mean, all we heard there was, <laughs> I mean, really, Benito, but I'm. 
that's, that's okay. I, and I we'll did... leave it at that because we don't want to know. I think that's different. Better. Yeah. Um, also, just <laughs> which one is fake? Just dude? a side note here: if for the listeners, it sounds like we're talking over Dylan a lot. We're not like trying to like overpower or whatever. We just yeah, literally she's cannot just hear. Cutting out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep cutting out. It's really sad. I think she's done speaking now. Are we safe to speak? If you hear oh, this, right. no, you're no. Cool. <laughs> this is such an <laughs> awful podcast. Okay. Honestly. I just want to say, right? I. For my lighting for this, I just have a desk lamp. Wait, wait, and take normally, your guesses on the story. This, no one no, cares about your I lamp. want to address this. Um, and for it to be like angled up at me, I have to rest it on a book. And I have been resting on a cooking book but that's been taken downstairs. So right now, it is Nobody cares. balancing. No, because the name of this book is beautiful. This was my favourite book as a child. It's all about digestion and it's called The Gooey Chewy Rumble Plot. Book. That is pretty funny to be fair. <laughs> the what? It's my stand for my lamp. The Gooey Chewy Rumble Plot Book. That is. Fuck, they've stolen my the autobiography stuff. name. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah, let's. Hmm. Hmm. Fake story. Fake story. I'm, I'm not even going to take any time over it. I think mine's the fake one. I think Niles made up mine. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. That would make sense, but I need to put competition in it. No, you so can, you can go with say... even if it's good. You, you can, can go, go with the same one if you want because you're beating me no. already. I'm already losing. So, like, if you want to play it safe, you can just go with the same one. Right. Your choice. But like, I mean, I didn't hear hear half the stories because I kept crying. Anyways. Um, Essentially, mine is they went out flower picking and a girl disappeared because there's this woman who abducted children. And mine was what was mine? Oh, uh, Resurrection Mary got went to cemetery. Went to cemetery. I'll say that Niles is fake. Okay, right. I can now reveal. Oh, Dylan's is fake, isn't it? (laughs) Well, I I can reveal that Gideon, you are incorrect, but Dylan, (laughs) are also (laughs) incorrect. The correct, yeah, um, the, yeah, the okay. fake story was Mamma Mia. A, a, <laughs> I should have a, known a, from the title. A good though. hint would have been that yesterday I put a thing up on our Instagram of a review we got that reads, Mamma Mia, it's a me, an Italian person. I like it oh. more than right. I like spaghetti. I didn't, I didn't in, realize that it had like that. Mamma Mia right. at the top of it. I was thinking it was purposely really short and badly written yeah. to throw us off. Well, that's what do you mean badly that's written? written? What, what, you just on, dissed him. That's, that's, that's rude. You didn't even put a full stop at Pardon. the end of Niall. To be fair, there's quite a lot of spelling mistakes in mine as well. You don't put a full stop at the end of... Te- what fucking spelling <laughs> mistakes? <laughs> you spelled... <laughs> you also right. Gideon, Gideon, you spelled Marjorie Gideon, 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 without an R Gideon, Gideon, like every time. But Gideon, yeah, what, Gideon, yours what? was copy and pasted from a website. That's not on me. Well, the website is broken then. The website needs to sort themselves s- out. Spell Mamma Mia, please. I always Wait, spell it not? wrong. Check the Instagram. How did, you, how did he spell it? M A M A space M I A. That's that's M A double M A. Come on. It's, it's how I've always done. Are you not it. a true ABBA fan? No, I'm you? not. Come on. Idiot. Mamma Mia. <sighs> Should uh, as punishment sing Mamma Mia? Here we go again. <laughs> Mamma Mia. Here we go again. It's actually here. I've got the lyrics wrong and now I want to die. Let's move on to the trivia. But there will be no trivia because that is basically where our episode stopped recording. So um, I'm just going to do the outro here. Really hope you enjoyed listening to this episode. We've got all our links in the description. We've got our GoFundMe for the studio and everything like that. If you do feel inclined to donate, don't worry if you don't. It's a tough time for a lot of people right now. We completely understand we're not expecting anything. All our social media is in the description. Uh, We'd appreciate getting reviews on iTunes and wherever else, whatever other podcast apps you can leave reviews. It really does help us out. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in a bit.